a clock is the most crucial element in an SOC and almost all integrated circuit designs. Here in this video, we will be looking at the structure of the clock, then define a basic clock as well as use different methods to generate the clock signal. A clock signal is a periodic square wave that oscillates between high and low, otherwise one and zero states. Circuits are either sampled on the rising edge of the square wave, which is the change from low to high, or on the falling edge, which changes from high to low. A duty cycle is a fraction of one period in which a signal is active. In most of the designs, the clock signal has a 50% duty cycle, meaning 50% is high and the rest of the 50% is low. Hence, let us stick to generating clock signals with a 50% duty cycle in this video. Method 1. Incrementing the clock. Inside an always block, increment the clock signal, clock 1, with a step size of 1 with a delay of 1 cycle, here 1 nanosecond. This shall generate a clock signal with a period of 2 nanoseconds. Method 2. Negating. Assign the inverted clock signal, clock 2, to the current signal after a delay of 1 nanosecond. Method 3. Using if else. If the clock signal, clock 3, is true, 1 bit 0 is stored in the clock 3 after 1 cycle delay. Else, 1 bit 1 is stored in the clock 3 register. Method 4. With case. If the selection of the case statement is 0, 1 bit 1 is stored in the clock 4 register after a delay of 1 cycle. And if the selection is 1, 0 is stored in the clock 4 register. Method 5. Add and subtract. Similar to method 1, we first increment the clock 5 with the 1 bit after 1 cycle delay and then decrement the clock 5 with another cycle delay. You can now combine any of the mentioned four methods and generate your own clock. For example, let us combine methods 1 and 3. If clock 6 is either 0 or 1, increment clock 6 after 1 nanosecond delay. With that, we now reach the end of the video and hope you are able to generate clock in different ways. Please feel free to comment any other interesting methods to implement the clock signal. Hope these techniques were useful. If you enjoyed the lesson and want to support us, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.